Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you saw from the title, we are going to be doing a Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick Review. I haven't heard like much about this product. Like it's not super hyped or anything like that, but I did want to try it out because it's $9. So like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Plus I love their new well, kind of new Conceal and Define. This has been my go-to favorite concealer ever. So I am going to be using these together just because I have been using this a bunch. So I know I like it and I want to see if they perform well together because most brands have products that perform well together. So I do want to try this out with this, but I'm actually kind of excited about this. I've never really loved foundation sticks. Um, they're just not my cup of tea. I'm not really into them. I tried the Hourglass Vanish Stick once, and again, you guys know I don't love super full coverage foundations, so maybe that's why I didn't like that, but it just like was not sitting well on my skin. I was just, I just didn't like that one. So I'm hoping I like this. We are gonna talk a little bit about it, and then we'll put it on my face. I will wear it throughout the day. I will do check-ins. I am going to an escape room tonight, which I've never done before, so I'm super excited about that. So after that, I will be coming back. I will do a final check-in at the end of the night, see how it wore on my skin. Just so you guys know, a little background on my skin. I do have oily skin pretty much everywhere. There's nowhere really where it's dry. It's just oily. Um, every once in a while, I get like kind of dry around my eyebrows or like down here, but right now it's been pretty oily since we're getting into the hotter months and it's like really hot out and it's been raining for the past four days, so it's like super moist outside. Ugh, I don't like that word, but you know what I'm saying. So um, we are going to be testing this out on very oily skin, which is me. So I do want to talk a little bit about the foundation before we put it on. So you can only buy this at Ulta on Ulta.com or of course on MakeupRevolution.com. Um, this foundation is $9, which I personally think is awesome. I love drugstore foundations. I don't really stray away from them when it's in like the full coverage range. If I want a full coverage foundation, I'll just go to the drugstore. I do stick to more high end like BB creams and you know, tinted moisturizers and very, very lightweight just because I feel like they hold up better. But for full coverage foundations, I usually like the drugstore ones better. That's just personal preference, but I do wanna see if this is good. It's $9, so why not? So reading a little about the product, they do say that you can like contour with it or highlight with it. I did only get one shade. Um, I did not get a cream contour shade, which I should have now to think about it, but I didn't. So we'll only have this and I'll just use my regular products to contour and everything with. Um, there's not really much else on the foundation. Um, they say it's easy to apply, blends well. Um, it does say it has a more dewy finish. Again, I am oily, but I hate matte foundations. Absolutely hate them. So I will like to see if this holds up nice enough for me to like this dewy foundation for oily skin. If you have oily skin and you hate looking oily or dewy or anything, you probably won't like this, but I don't 100% know because I have not put it on yet. But um, it says best use for dry skin. Oh well. Um, normal skin, it's hit, it says it's full coverage, so we'll see. Uh, and it says, no, what? Hold up, it says light to medium coverage and then it says full coverage. Maybe like light to medium, you could build to full, not 100% sure, we're gonna figure that out. But anyways, um, let's just get right into the foundation. I have not opened it. I am in, this, actually, I don't know what shade I'm in, to be completely honest with you. I am like horrible at shade matching, like absolutely horrible at shade matching. So this could be, you know, not my shade whatsoever, but we're gonna figure it out. I think I'm in the shade F6. That's the color I got. What we about to find out. So this product comes, does it say how much? Yeah. So this product comes with 0.21 ounces of product. Let me look up how much the Hourglass Foundation Stick. Hourglass So this product comes with 0.21 ounces of product. The net weight is 21. I looked up the Hourglass one just to see like comparison. Um, that one comes with 0.25. So you get like 0.3 ounces more, but 
that foundation is $46, this foundation is $9. And I'm not saying like these compare in any way to the way they, you know, apply or wear throughout the day. I'm not saying that at all. I know that I do not like this foundation stick, but I do want to try this, but I'm, I'm just, you know, saying that this foundation stick comes with a little bit more, but this is $9, this is $46. Just putting that out there. So opening it up, I mean, it's like, it's pretty. <laughs> that sounds weird. Ooh, I don't know if this is gonna be the right shade for me. <laughs> We don't find out. I don't want to break this, but I do want to roll it up all the way. Okay, so this is how much product comes in. You'll probably be able to see with my background better. Well, guys, I tried like color correcting last my last video when I did um, the Laura Lee foundation, not foundation, when I did the Laura Lee palette and I was just looking really orange. So I changed it back to audio, like auto white balance or whatever. And I just, my lighting's off. Everything is just off. I look pale. I look, um, I need to figure out. I mean, just I just need to figure it out. If you guys know a way to like fix your white balance and like or like a good white balance setting, let me know because I'm struggling over here. Anyways, this is how much product you get. It's not like a bunch, but it's also not nothing. Like this is how most foundation sticks come. Um, and you, it does look like it rolls up all the way. Like you wouldn't get down to here and then like have like a bunch of foundation left. It looks like the little plastic part is literally right at the top. So that's pretty awesome. You won't be wasting foundation. However, before we put the foundation on, I do want to prime my face. I'm going to prime my face, my whole face. I'm not going to do like half not primed, half prime, just because I prime my face every single day. And I am going to be using a primer that I use every single day because I know the way it works. And I love this primer. Even though I do have oily skin, this is by far my favorite primer I just love it. I don't really love silicone primers or anything like that. So this is definitely my favorite primer. This is, you guys can't even see it because the lighting. What is wrong with my lighting today? <sighs> mm. Okay, I'll just tell you what the product is. This is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> it's worse up there. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and just pump it on my hand. You literally don't need a bunch of this primer. It's amazing. So I'm just gonna rub that in my hands. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of product. I don't put a bunch in the T-zone just because I am oily, but I do think it helps. I also have a huge pimple right here and a bunch of red spots. I don't know what's going on with my skin either. This is just not like, not my day. Just truly not my day. This does end up getting tacky. So once I see it start or feel it start getting a little bit tacky, I like to push it into my face. Push it into my face. Guys, I tried a wing liner. What do you think? It's very small because my eyes could not handle a huge wing. I would look insane. But it is a very small wing and I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of feeling it, you know? I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. And after I prime my face with the Too Faced Hangover Primer, I do let it sit for about like two, three minutes just to really soak into my skin, just so I know that I'm not gonna have like a layer of primer underneath the foundation. So I'm just gonna let that sit. We'll be back. We put on the foundation, we blend it out, we review it. Life goes on, okay? We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I let the primer sit for just a little bit and now let's get into the foundation. So I'm just gonna put a little bit up. I have about that much up. I don't know if you guys can see that because my horrible friggin' lighting, but I have about that much up right now and I'm gonna keep it there just to see how much product we actually use. Um, I'm gonna do one half of my face first and then the other half. I normally do not apply foundation with a brush, like a full coverage foundation, but I think for the sake of today's video, I'm gonna do half with a sponge, half with the brush, and then finish it off with whatever side I like more. Um, of course, with a lighter coverage foundation, I like to put it on with a brush first and then go on with the beauty blender, but we'll see how I like it with the actual foundation stick. So let me get my mirror like right in front of me and let's do this thing. Okay, so I'm, I don't know how much to apply. I don't know if this is gonna be my shade. I don't know if it's gonna be too light or too dark. Ooh, I hate the way foundation sticks feel. Hate them. <laughs> okay, I feel like that's a lot of product. I feel like that is a lot. So, um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> okay, so, so far that is how much product we use. Not a bunch. There's still like a little nibble, but I feel like 
don't know we'll see so i'm gonna go in and i'm just taking my favorite sponge beauty sponge and it's from flower beauty oh so nothing's really happening with the sponge okay maybe i'll go in with a brush and then blend it out with a sponge on both sides i'm gonna just put a little bit more because i feel like the sponge just picked it up that is a good sponge so i don't blame the sponge okay Round two, we're going to go on with the brush. And I'm just using the Morphe 439 brush for this. I'm not going to put any of the product under my eyes because I don't want to. <laughs> I never really put foundation there if I'm using a full coverage foundation just because I feel like it cakes up even more. Okay, so this is with just one layer. Um, I definitely do not see a full coverage in this whatsoever. I'm going to... Here, I'll, let me get a mirror so that I can stay up here. Um... You can definitely still see all of my redness everywhere. It didn't blend out very well. Let me do another layer. And let me go in with the sponge to kind of blend it out better. Let's see how it layers on top. I feel like it's just not blending. Oh no. Am I gonna look like shit later? <laughs> okay. This is the side with it. This is the side without it. Like I said, even with the second layer, I do see all of my, you know, um, beauty marks and redness and everything like that. I do see all that. Personally, don't really mind that 100%, except I know when full coverage foundations, or not, it, I'm, not I'm not saying this is a full coverage foundation, but like, when foundations like this that aren't like a tinted moisturizer or anything are lightweight they don't wear on my skin as well as like a tinted moisturizer would or something like that um the color match honestly isn't that bad i thought it was going to be a lot worse but when i blended it out it's not that bad but as of right now um i definitely do like the application with the sponge or just like kind of blending it out with the sponge after you put it on with the brush just because i kind of feel like it gives like more of a blended out look rather than streaky um it's doing something weird up here on my forehead not really sure what that is but i'm gonna go in on the other side still have not put down or up the you know i just foundation sticks apply so weird who knows a lot of foundations here we're gonna go up the pimple see <laughs> see how it wears in the pimple i just don't like the fact that foundation sticks are so thick like and obviously they are because they're foundation sticks, like they can't be liquidy in a stick form. Duh, hello. But I just don't like that. It's just not my cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? But who knows, this could wear really nicely after I powder and wear it for a little while throughout the day. What do I know? I don't know if you guys can see on my forehead, but I have two little blemishes on my forehead. And it's like not sticking to <laughs> two little spots on my forehead what is going on okay so this is the foundation all blended out i look very 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 pale in my viewfinder and like one color i have like no dimension to my face whatsoever because i don't have all beautiful cheekbones i look like a round ball right now but <clears throat> not what the video is about okay so as of right now this is blended out it is, that's my dog, um, it is like extremely dewy right now. It has not set down. I literally just started blending, I mean, just stopped blending it out. Let me turn this down just so we can, I know it's going to be real bad lighting. I'm sorry, but I want to show you like, maybe this is better lighting shit. I don't fucking know. I'm having a little problem right here. Like it's literally nothing, nothing will stick right there. Not sure why. Could just be a problem with like my skin right now um 
it is kind of not sticking here as well and something weird's happening on my forehead it did cover up the blemish i had a little bit of course it's not going to smooth it out so i do still have a blemish there duh um but everything else looks pretty good as of right now at first when i put it on i didn't like it because it was super thick but as of right now it just it looks good of course it does look like i have foundation on this is in no way like a you know lightweight i mean it doesn't really feel like i have much on my face but it, it looks like it if you saw me in person you could probably see it in the camera i look like i have foundation on. i needed i do not look like this is my skin because this is not my skin i do definitely look like i'm a little cakey but i think what i'm gonna do now like i don't know if you guys can tell but it's like real dewy like I look wet. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I feel like it's kind of leaving my skin looking a little gray. Like I look kind of gray. Like really gray. I look dead. I definitely look dead. I'm going to blend this out. I'm going to set my face. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to come back and then tell you guys like kind of how I feel about the foundation first off on my skin and then obviously I'm going to wear it throughout the day. I will come back at the end of the day, maybe do some check-ins and whatnot. But as of right now, I'm just going to go finish the rest of my makeup. And I will be right back and tell you guys kind of how I feel about the foundation after I put everything else on. So I will be right back. <laughs> okay, so I just finished my makeup off camera. Um, I'm really sorry about the lighting. I'm really trying to get it, like, good. For some of my videos, like, the last few videos I had, it was, like, fine. And now it's, like, all funky. Like, I don't know. I don't... I really don't know what's going on. But I hope the lighting is okay. I hope it's not too bright. I hope you can actually see my face in the foundation. I did zoom you guys in just a little bit just so maybe it helped the lighting. I don't know. I feel like it just made it worse. But, um, anyways, so it is currently... Oh, my phone screen is disgusting. Oh, let me clean it. 2.38, not sure if you can see that because of lights, but it's currently 2.38. Um, I put this foundation on, I wanna say like, after I finished my makeup, I mean, before I finished my makeup, I wanna say it was around like two, but um, I'll just say my official check-in time right now is two, technically 2.40. So 2.40 is the first check-in time after I pattern my face, finish my face and everything, I jump right back on camera. Um, all of the stuff I use will be down below. I used all of the regular stuff that I use every time just so that I can give this foundation a fair shot. But yeah, um, so in the beginning, I did have to powder a lot because it is a very dewy foundation. I had to powder like, I was like wet, like actually wet. Um, so I did powder a lot and then to set that powder, I just put on Fix Plus because I don't like that powdery feel, but I did need to powder or I was looking, like right now I'm even looking dewy and i've only had the foundation on for like 40 minutes so let's see how this holds up throughout the day i hope it holds up okay because i am going out and i don't want to look an absolute disaster so um as you can see right now the foundation isn't i don't think it's 100 percent full coverage i did redraw on all of my beauty marks just because i like my beauty marks so i draw them back on so that's not the foundation showing it through but right here i did not draw my freckles on again because I do have full coverage foundation on, I don't want to like have like full freckles on my face. And you can see my freckles. Not sure if you can see them, but I can see my freckles. I'll zoom you guys in at the very end, just so we can like really, really see and turn off the lights. Um, but as of right now, like right here on my nose, there's like the products already rubbing off. My chin looks okay. The teller of all tails is like right here on my face. And I mean, it doesn't look horrible. But I just don't think it's going to hold up okay. I feel like hopefully it stays the way it is right now throughout the whole day. Because then I won't mind it. But as of right now, I just feel like it's not going to uh, hold up the way I want it to. But my forehead is still doing that weird thing. It's all patchy up here. Not right here. But like all up here, it's just like scaly. It looks like I'm a snake and I'm not a snake. As of right now, my chin. I have a lot of acne scar on my chin. So that's another thing I can tell with foundation if it's good or not. Um, you can see some of the scarring. Not sure if you can, but I can. So I don't know. As of right now, as of this moment, after completely doing my face, as of right now, 
If it stays like this throughout the whole day, which I don't know if it's going to because it was very dewy, but if it does stay like this throughout the day, then I wouldn't mind it. Right now, I don't really mind it. I wish it looked a little better because I did just put it on and usually foundation doesn't look this, I don't wanna say bad because it's not bad, but this bad already, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't know, I don't wanna say too much about the foundation. Like I don't wanna say I hate it right away because I've only had it on for about an hour. So I am gonna go throughout my day, I am gonna go hang out with my coworkers. We're gonna go do an escape room and then I will come back for my final check-in. I wanna have the foundation on for a while. So we'll see how long I think it will be on for like definitely more than eight hours. I'm pretty sure. So um, yes, as of right now, the foundation isn't horrible but it's also not the best thing I've ever seen in my life. It was very dewy in the very beginning, so I did have to powder like a lot. Like I pretty much baked my whole face and I never do that. So that says how dewy it is. Okay guys, so I zoomed you guys in just a little bit. It was really dark without all of my lights because my settings are set that way so that it doesn't look horrible with my lights on, if that makes any sense. Anyways, um, this is with just the ring light on, like very very dimmed down so this is what the, i don't know right there see that right there that like little patch of missing that's kind of getting me angry um i don't know if you guys can see i can't really see in the viewfinder but right here it's just very scaly my nose isn't super creased i told you guys that my nose wasn't super creased but right here is kind of settling weird if that makes any sense but you can still see some acne scarring on my chin um, I don't know. It's not horrible. Like I said, if it wears like this throughout the rest of the day, I will be fine with it. But I don't think it's going to wear like this throughout the rest of the day. I think it's going to get worse. But we will see. I don't want to judge the foundation. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Hopefully not. No, we're good. Um, but I don't want to judge the foundation right away. I do want to wait till the end of the day. So I will be back. Um, hopefully kind of soon if I don't have to leave right away to give you guys like a middle of the day and if not then I will be back at the very end of the day to tell you guys how the foundation wore so this is it right now with you know no um what am I trying to say Jesus I can't talk but this is what it looks like right now. Um, I will be back in a few hours to check in at the very end of the day and we will see how this or throw the whole day. <laughs> okay guys, so I am back. It is the end of the night. It is currently 10 to 20 at night. So it's been about seven hours, seven, seven-ish hours, I wanna say. Um, I was gonna wear it longer, but one, I really wanna take it off. I wanna go to bed. Um, and two, I already know how I feel about it. Um, so let's just, get up close personal and look i'm not gonna scoot you guys in yet i will very at the very end um like i said my lighting's kind of weird i don't really know what's going on so i'm sorry if you guys can't see what it's looking like i hope you can't because it's not that pretty like i said in the beginning i didn't really love the way the foundation looked when i first put it on um just wasn't my cup of tea wasn't really liking it but i said if it stays like that throughout the day i wouldn't really mind it so looking really close um my smile lines like right here and right here usually are where like it gets a little cakey not even cakey but creasy and it's really creasy right there my nose that side's fine this side looks absolutely horrible um my nose is like there's like no product on my nose like there's none like literally none so my nose is gone my chin my chin doesn't look horrible honestly i thought this area right here like those are that's my trouble areas and i thought they were going to be a lot worse than they are they're not that bad the forehead still looks the exact same as it did before but my problem is right now is like right here my chin a little bit it's like this area right here and that's mainly my problem areas most of the time, but I've only had this foundation on for about seven hours and it looked like this, I wanna say after about four hours. Um, I just was unable to check in with you guys because I was out. So my nose, as you can see, there's like literally no product in my nose. Like I can wipe and nothing comes off because there's nothing. You see how like patchy it is right here? 
My nose is completely gone. My chin, that's lipstick. Don't mind that. Um, but my chin, like my acne scars are coming through. Like a lot. Um, not really sure what's going on right here. But something's going on right here. This is just my eczema, so this is just like bumpy. Well, whatever the heck it's called. It's not called eczema, but you know what I mean. Um, my nose, like I said, this side's not that bad. This side is pretty, pretty horrendous. My under eyes, they are creasing, but my under eyes always crease. But I did want to show you guys up close and personal what my foundation is looking like. Um, I don't know. As you guys can tell, I'm honestly not super oily. I thought I was going to be a lot more oily. Like, I am shiny up here. I can probably blot. I never use blotting sheets or anything just because... I don't really care that much, to be honest with you. Um, if I start to get oily, then I start to get oily. Don't really mind it. Um, but I'm honestly not that oily. I think instead of getting oily, the foundation just came off, and now it's just my skin underneath. Like I said, my my forehead doesn't look much different than before, than like when I first put it on. It looks the exact same. It's still very scaly up here, but it is what it is. That's what it looked like in very very beginning. Anyways, um, so I think I have the final, like, results of what I think about the foundation. So I do think, personally, I went off at a bad start. Like, I got off at a bad start just because I don't like stick foundation. So I had a bad feeling about this in the very beginning to begin with. But of course, I did not let that cloud my judgment as wearing it. And it's just not, it's just not holding up very well. It's just, and it's, um, like... If it just started doing this right now at the seven hour mark, like I would be okay with it because I really don't wear full coverage foundations for a super long period of time. This isn't even full coverage. It's like light to medium, maybe you can build full, that kind of coverage. If it just started doing this at the seven hour mark, I wouldn't really be that upset about it. I would think it was a good foundation. However, it started doing this at around like the three, four hour mark, so... I feel like a foundation should at least last six to eight hours, and if it doesn't, then it's just not worth it. I know this is only a $9 foundation, and it's a foundation stick, and you get like a decent amount of product. Um, I showed you guys what it looked like before. This is what it looks like after. Still pretty much the same. Didn't use too much product. I don't know how it works on dry skin. It might work better on dry skin, if you don't set it, maybe it got like this because I have oily skin. I'm not 100% sure because I do not have dry skin. I can't let you know how it works under skin, but personally, I'm speaking for the oily girls out in the world. If you have oily skin, even if you do like a dewy foundation, this I would just stray away from. I personally do not like this foundation. I don't really like foundation sticks just because they are so thick, but I, I had an open mind and it just didn't work out for me. Um, personally, another foundation that I do love from the drugstore that is luminous and it is full coverage is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Lux Foundation. I love that foundation and it is dewy and it does not do this. The foundation, the Vitalist CoverGirl Healthy Lux Foundation literally wears better throughout the day than when you first put it on. So, I mean, it's really up to you. You saw how it looked. Like I said, it did start doing this at around the three, four hour mark. So this is not just happening right now. It just doesn't look good. It's just not wearing good. Like I said, um, the product is $9. You get 0.21 ounces in it. It's not like the worst foundation I've ever tried from the drugstore. It is only $9. So if you guys want to try it out, just go get it. And if you don't like it, you can always bring it back. Of course, everyone does have different skin types, different, you know, I, I'm oily pretty much all around, but some people are just oily in the T-zone. So I would probably recommend either going to get it and then if you don't like returning it or just not get it at all. Um, I don't know. I just don't think oily girls are going to love this. Personally, speaking for oily girls, don't know about dry skin, but I know for oily skin, it's just not working. And I'm an oily skin girl who likes dewy foundations. So that's saying something because once it rubs off, like when dewy foundations rub off of my skin, like in the T-zone and stuff, I don't really mind that. But I don't mind it when it hits like the 7, 8 hour mark. When it's doing that around like the 3 or 4 hour mark, that's when I mind it. <sighs> Just not my cup of tea. 
not my cup of tea. But anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video and if you guys like me, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that post notification bell so that you guys are notified whenever I upload a video. I try and upload once a week. Sometimes it doesn't happen. YouTube is not my full-time job. I'm sorry. I'm trying my hardest to post at least once a week. I want to start posting twice a week, but I work a lot. So, um, that's about it for today, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it, and I really, really hope that I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. You know what I'm saying? I just need to go to bed. <sighs> I can't talk. I'm out of breath. <sighs> okay.